Hello! So, ako na naman ulit. Ayan. So, since wala akong magawa today, sasagutin ko to. Kung bago kayo dito sa channel ko, um, my name's Paul, and I am a Canadian RN, a US RN, and a PHRN. Okay, so basahin ko lang yung question number one. Ano ba yung sabi dito? Ask ko lang po, once na nag-file na for application, kailangan dapat simulan mag-review or kailan dapat simulan mag-review? Okay, to answer your question, I think it's a little tricky. Ang arte, <laughs> tricky. No, um, yung reason kung bakit medyo tricky siya is because depende yon kung anong klaseng learner ka. In my mind, um, I would suggest na hindi ako muna agad or hindi muna ako mag-re-review agad kapag ka-file ko ng application. Well, the reason for that is because medyo matagal yung hintayan ng approval for NCLEX eligibility sa state of New York. So, it will take you or probably might take you around 8 months para ma-approve yung eligibility. And kung mag-start ka agad, mag-review, chances are yung mga naaral mo ng pisa, baka makalimutan mo. Kaya yun yung take ko na hindi muna ako magre-review immediately after mag-file ng application. So, um, I think it varies from one application to another, pero most of the time, I think more than 6 months yung magiging estimated time para ma-approve yung eligibility for you to take the NCLEX RN under the state of New York, or should I say, under the Board of Nursing ng New York. So, I'll show you kung ano yung itsura ng eligibility para mas may idea kayo. Yung actual eligibility ko when I applied for my eligibility sa state of New York. So, ito siya. Okay, so ito yung actual email na sinend ko sa NYSED para mag-follow up ng status ng application ko for my NCLEX RN eligibility under the state of New York. At ito naman yung actual eligibility nung na-approve yung education ko from the Philippines. So, next screen. So, meron na kayo idea kung gano'ng ka-lengthy ng process ng pag-apply ng NTEX RN eligibility sa state of New York. So, I would highly suggest na start reviewing sa kalagitnaan ng application. Um, ang pinaka-key, um, you wanna make sure na makakapag-exam kayo not later than um, April 2023 dahil sa next generation NCLEX RN. I heard masihirap yung exam next year. So if you can take the exam as soon as possible, then that would be great. According to NCSBN's website, magtitake effect yung next generation NCLEX RN on April 1, 2023. So magtake na kayo agad ng NCLEX RN exam para hindi nyo maabuta yung new format. So next naman, question number two. Hmm, ang sabi dito, gaano katagal na expire yung ATT po? Sasagutin ko yan. So for ATT or authorization to test, um, nakuha ko yung akin 12 days after ko ma-approve for my eligibility sa NYSED. So ito yung actual na itsura ng ATT ko. To answer your question, kung gaano katagal nag-expire yung ATT, the answer is 6 months. So in my case, um, yung ATT ko ay valid from June 2021 to December 2021. So you always need to check kung gaano katagal yung expiry. Before, I heard 3 months lang but I think in-extend nila dahil sa COVID or whatnot. But I'm not sure but I'm glad na extended at saka mas matagal yung duration ng ATT. So... You have to make sure na makapag-exam ka within the time frame or else magbabayad ka ng panibagong examination fee or I think for another rescheduling. So, yeah, take your exam. So, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!